Say hi. We now we do the homework. This is the homework question. Khalid, read the question. Khalid is a furniture wholesaler. His financial year ends on 30th September. All the purchases and sales made by credit terms. So there's no cash sales for this question. Khalid does not maintain a full set accounting record, but was able to provide the following information. So on the 1st October 2017, so this is my opening balance, balance BD. During the year, uh, all these transactions take place. And then on the 30th September 2018, this is my balance CD. Then after the warehouse was closed on the 30th September, a fire broke out and uh, a quantity of the inventory destroyed. So there are a, a, a amount of the inventory destroyed, but how much we don't know. It's okay. The undamaged uh, inventory was 1,500. Uh, so the not damaged one is 1,500. How much is destroyed or how much damaged? I don't know. Okay. Then the question say markup is 25%. Markup is 25%. Okay. Now, the question asked me to calculate sales. So on this question, the question already tell you, we have only credit sales. So based on the information given here, based on the information given here, how to calculate sales, uh, especially the credit sale, how to calculate the credit sales? Yes, I can see trade receivable. If you can see the trade receivable, you will prepare the trade receivable control account. We need to prepare the rate receivable control account to calculate how much the credit sales, to calculate how much the credit sales. Okay, first one, I can see the balance BD. I highlight all the information that related to trade receivable. So first I have balance BD. After that, amount received from trade receivable. Discount allowed also related to trade receivable. Bad debt is e-recoverable debt. It's also related to your trade receivable. And the balance CD trade receivable. So all the ones that are highlighted in the blue color will go to the trade receivable control account to calculate how much is your credit sales. So first, before we continue, trade receivable control account is my asset. Asset balance BD and then the amount increase. Balance BD and also if the trade receivable increase will be in a debit side. And balance CD, if the trade receivable decrease also will be in a credit side. Okay, now we will put the balance BD. So this is my balance BD 4620. I go here, right? 4620. Balance BD. The date will be 2017, October 1. Balance BD will be the first day. Other than balance BD will be last day. So I write here the last day is 2018, September 30, 2018, September 30. Can you go check the question? Do you have any other information? Yes, I have check received from trade receivable. If I receive from trade receivable, how much the trade receivable will be decreased? If decreased, it will be in a credit side. So I go in a credit side. 47970 right here bank because that's your check next one is discount allowed if we allow discount to the trade receivable the trade receivable amount will reduce also so it will be in a credit side one two three zero right here discount allowed next one we have bad debt bad debt also the guy died already so the guy's account will be Reduce. We will minus the guy's account because the guy ran away or died already. So it is your e-recoverable debt right in the credit side. Right here, e-recoverable debts. Apart from that, do you have anything related to receivable? Yes, the closing balance. The closing balance will be in a balance CD will be in a credit side also. 3305 right here, balance CD. I'm done with all my trade receivable information. Now I will balance up the trade receivable account to calculate how much is my credit sales. So I feel the credit side is bigger. So I total up the credit side 47970 plus 1230 plus 115 plus 3305. I get 52620. 5260 
minus 4620, I get 48,000. So my credit sales will be 48,000. And don't forget, don't stop here. If you've got balance CD, you must transfer to balance BD. The date will be 2018, October 1. And we write a full amount, full total trade receivable account. Or you can write trade receivable control account, both are same. So now I already calculated my credit sales. Next one, the question asked me to do. Prepare income statement that uh, only the threading section to calculate the value, to calculate the value of the inventory destroyed. So I don't know the, how much the value of the inventory destroyed. So we will calculate that. So I'll start with sales. How much is your sales or revenue? Sales or revenue? How much is sales or revenue? Yes, we calculated here. This is my sales. We don't have cash sales for this question. The question already tell you all are in the credit terms. So my total credit sale, uh, total sales is 48,000. So right here, 48,000. Sales minus with cost of sales. Cost of sales. Your cost of sales start with opening inventory. My opening inventory is 3,100. My opening inventory is 3,100. Opening inventory need to plus with purchases need to plus with purchases and my purchases is 39200 purchases is 39200 so i take my opening inventory plus with purchases 3100 plus 39200 i get 42300 that's my total per, uh, opening inventory plus purchases and this answer need to minus with Closing inventory. Okay, closing inventory. We have two closing inventory actually. Minus closing inventory. We have two closing inventory. One is the undamaged one. How much the undamaged? Undamaged is 1,500. Undamaged is 1,500. And the question asked me to calculate the destroyed one. So how much the destroyed? Destroyed one, I don't know. If you don't know, just leave it empty first. Just leave it empty. I label this as a X. Then we will take the undamaged and damaged total. We will write here. I don't know also. Leave it empty. Okay. After that, you take this answer, this 42,300 minus, minus with Y, which is, you don't know how much the total uh, closing inventory, we will get cost of sales. I don't know the cost of sales also. 48,000 minus the cost of sales, you will get gross profit. But I don't know the gross profit also, let it be A. So now we need to, uh, use markup or margin to calculate the X, Y, Z and also A. So I go check in my question here. Yes, the question given me markup 25%. Mark up, up. If it's mark up means your gross profit will be 25%. Your gross profit will be 25%. Is it 25? Yes, 25%. And mark up, up. Your sales will be up then sales will be under 25%. If your sales is under 25% and your cost of goods sold or cost of sales will be 100%. Okay, now we will solve the problem. I know the amount of the sales 48,000. The percentage of the sales is under 25. The cost of sales, cost of sales percentage is 100%. I don't know the amount. So can we calculate the amount? Yes. How to calculate? 48,000 divide with 125. I will get how much is 1%. The 1% times with 100 because your cost of sales is 100%. 48,000 divide 125 times 100. I get 38,000. 
400. That's my cost of sales. So now you take the 42,300 minus with Y, you will get 38,400. So how to calculate Y? You take 42,300 minus 38,400. You will get 39,000. 39,000. So my closing inventory will be, oh sorry, 3,900. Your closing inventory will be 3,900. Okay, then how you get the 3,900? 1,500 plus the X, we get 3,900. So now 3,900 minus 1,500, I will get how much is the inventory destroyed. My inventory destroyed is 2,400. And then the last one, don't forget to calculate the A, the gross profit. The gross profit is very easy, 48,000 minus 38,400, you will get 9,600. That's your gross profit. This is how we prepare the income statement to calculate the closing inventory that is destroyed. After that, question number C, the question asked me to calculate rate of inventory turnover. What is the formula to calculate rate of inventory turnover? You know, you don't know. Okay, the formula to calculate rate of inventory turnover is cost of sales over average inventory. So how much is my cost of sales? I calculated this now. My cost of sales is 38,400 divided with average inventory. The formula to calculate average inventory, the formula to calculate average inventory is opening inventory, which is 3,100 plus with closing inventory, which is 3,900. Just now only we calculate that over two. So can you solve this? 3,100 plus 3,900 divide two, I get 3,500. 38,400 divide 3,500. So now the final answer, 38,400 divided with 3,500, I get 10.97. Always go for two decimal. Always go for two decimal. 10.97 times. Okay, now. Okay, so the last question, the state what the measure by the rate of inventory turnover. Okay, what is rate of inventory turnover? In one year, how many times you replace your inventory? You buy and you sell the inventory, how many times? Okay, so how to put in the word? The answer is, it's uh, the number of times the inventory is sold and replaced in the financial year. Okay, in, in one year, how many times they sell, they, they sell and then they buy the new inventory. Okay, for example, this, this company, they buy around uh, almost 11 times. 10.97 no? is almost 11 times. Okay, okay that's it, this uh, question. Please try yourself and check your answer here. Please love accounts. Accounts will love you back. Bye.